if I had to describe him in one word, it's polite. <laughs> and that's what the rescue actually told me too when I adopted him. My name is Belle, <laughs> and this is Oreo Story for GOB. He was given up at an animal shelter, and then they transferred him to Friends of Rabbit Rescue. I want to believe that he was treated well, and it was personal choice for the family or the owner that had to give him up. He's very friendly. He doesn't mean any harm to anyone. Can we give a high five? Oreo, thank you, Chai. Oreo is very polite, a distinguished gentleman. My husband grew up with Bunny. And when we were talking about getting a pet, I'm doing my doctorate studies right now. So I don't really have time for a dog. And then my husband is allergic to cats, so we landed on a bunny. <laughs> this whole area is his room. At night, he goes up to our bedroom. He was very friendly, but to get him to, you know, sit like this and really cuddle with him, I would say it took maybe half a year. For many hours a day, I would just sit with him on the floor. I worked really hard to bond with him. Oreo! <laughs> Although he started licking my husband first, and I was very jealous for like three months. He would never lick me. I was like, come lick me! <laughs> and eventually he did. He's worth it. When there's noises and sounds in the house, he would do some zoomies around and binky go with it. We like to think that he's dancing. <laughs> he's really well house trained, lots of... Uh, <laughs> what we do is that we just don't have any wires in the rooms that he has access to. So there are no lamps, nothing in here, and in the kitchen there's nothing within his reach, and also in the bedroom. My phone charger is hidden behind a dresser that he cannot get to because he loves them. There was one time he went under the couch to the back of the couch and started biting the printer cable. <laughs> if you think about it, it's kind of like tree roots. So when they dig underground in nature, they have to bite through these like chewy roots to get through. So it's just part of who they are. He's very curious. If I just bring an Amazon box that I got for myself, he would chin all the boxes and to claim that it's his in a way. Rabbits, they're actually super smart. Spin first, you can just spin. Good boy, high five. Good boy, can I have a pop? Good boy. So a lot of people think they're just cute and that's it. So they actually have lots of personality in this little, little, little body. <laughs> He's a good hay eater. They always need that. But his favorite food is probably bananas. If you peel a banana, he will smell it from like the other room and then would start rattling the gate. We have a beautiful porch. He loves to listen to like the birds, to the trees. And when you adopt an animal, there's so many benefits. You get to know their personality before you adopt them. Oreo was already litter trained. When we got him, it surprised me. Even in a new environment, even the litter box was new. He just knew that's like where he goes. Their first owner might not work out and hopefully it's not their fault, but if you can adopt, it's such a different feeling and experience when you finally earn their trust. He brings so much joy. I'm grateful for who he is. <laughs>